STREAM is a clinical trial that started in 2012, but it dates back before that. In 2008, the United States Agency for International Development put out a call for proposals for a research agreement for tuberculosis. And part of that call for proposals was a request for a clinical trial that would evaluate a shortened treatment regimen for multidrug resistant tuberculosis. The International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease has a long history of working with programs in countries to manage tuberculosis. We have sites in many regions of the world and we're working in a variety of ways in different sites to increase awareness about treatment for the disease, about prevention for the disease, and the availability of services as well as the research study. Tuberculosis is a huge public health challenge globally. It's one of the top 10 leading causes of death in the world. And multi-drug resistant tuberculosis is even that much more of a challenge in a number of ways. Each year, approximately 500,000 people are affected with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. And what's more concerning is the gap between those who are affected by the disease and those who are treated by the disease. If a patient has a TB, he has to leave his, his job. No one has to give him a job. Also, no one can give him a house for rent. Everything is complicated. Patients do not want to come every morning to the hospital because uh, neighbors, uh, families may uh, bring their attention to them. TB uh, still in high in the public, and then, uh, even uh, young ages. In Mongolia, very young countries, and then uh, very bad uh, results. Uh, young age groups, very high TB infections. Sandri, I think it's back with some bottles. Be in the dirt, don't get him the dirt, don't get him get. I go, I'll tell you. To get a withdrawal hunger, I just yes, oh, I do. Still, I thought this email chat, Tiltorang it, so just put his caravan to it. You just some thousand get. Who must you have to think it? Toto Otto Manra, Doctor Mohorgel. I was saying that it was not a treatment, it was a torture because the drugs are very, they are uncomparable to the drugs for TB sensible. I had very difficult side effects of this injectable. I was losing my balance, I was falling down and I insisted that this injectables are taken away from the treatment. The biggest challenge is the huge percentage of loss to follow up. And the major uh, contributor to this loss to follow up is the long duration of treatment, which is 20 24 months, which, according to the current guidelines, uh, it is still valid. <laughs> From 18 months to 24 months, with 8 months injection, it's tiresome. Sometimes the patient refuses to follow, attend the medication, and they disappear with no clue to find them. When I was first diagnosed with tuberculosis, I was very, very scared. I thought I was going to die best when I had that with MDR. You had to take medication for two years ish. I, 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 immediately I just thought, hey, my life is gone. So there are many areas where improvement is required. In, in terms of the diagnosis, it's still a, a relatively difficult diagnosis to make in many settings in the world. But even when adequately diagnosed, the available treatments today are really inadequate on a number of levels. The average person had to take 14,000 pills during their course of treatment in order to be cured. That's clearly inadequate for patients uh, and for their families. And even with more recent developments to a shorter regimen, it's still a difficult disease to be treated and further advances are required. The STREAM trial is so important for South Africa because uh, our patients have been on treatment for two years. So what STREAM will bring, it will reduce the duration of treatment like from 24 months to 9 months. 
and also the stream 2 what is good about it it it, it eliminates the injection because the injection it causes a hearing problem to our patient i joined stream and then i was told that i was going to take medication only for six months and then i'm now in my last month of my course so i'm very happy that like as soon as i finish the course i will i will get my life back in 2012, stage one of the trial began in four countries and ultimately recruited 424 patients into the trial, which evaluated a shortened treatment regimen of nine months versus the 20 to 24 month treatment regimen. And in stage two of the trial, a new drug has been used in the shortened regimen to see if that can further improve the effectiveness of the regimen. I think even the nine months it can seem long to some people, but compared to the two years, it's, it's way shorter. Especially because within the two years, any person can eventually give up. And maybe that's why it, it's spreading so much as well. You can only hold on and try for so long. So the nine months, I think is it, it's essential. Like we need this ASAP. <laughs> This is not a project that could be done with one individual or one organization. And if it wasn't for the collection of groups and organizations that have come together to work collaboratively, and most importantly at country level, if it wasn't for the, the nurses and the doctors the community advisory boards, the pharmacists, all, all the people who are coming together to make this work at each stage of the trial, it wouldn't be possible. And so we're very grateful for everybody who's doing their part to ultimately see this project through to success.